All right, Carl, thank you very much. All right, we got the Weather Channel's Justin Michaels live now in the town of Covington. You heard uh, Carl mention that as one of the spots seeing the flooding. Justin, the rain still coming down, and you can see that water over the roadway, or at least uh, the entrance into this parking lot or service lot. Alex, let me tell you, rain is really bad. Well, there you go. Take a look. All right, so people are driving way too fast to go through here. Turn around, don't drown. You have no idea how. Here comes another one right now. Way too fast going through this water. Lots of water laying on the roads here, but something else that is actually quite startling, and we're going to be moving back a little bit. I want you to take a look at all the mud on the parking lot here. The reason for that is there has been a landslide or a mudslide behind this building, and you can see the mud exposed and the water coming down off that hill. The gentleman who leases this building, we've been talking with him, and we're going to have an interview for you here coming up in a little bit. But you can take a look at the cracking on the front of this garage. That was not there before that mudslide behind the building. So we can only imagine what is back there and how much pressure is being pushed on this building. Because, again, the man who leases this building says the cracking you see there was not there before this storm. He's concerned this building is going to come down. So there are no emergency personnel here right now. No officials. This has not been cordoned off or anything at this point, but we can only imagine it's going to be. The gentleman we're going to be speaking with in just a moment says he has contacted the owner of this building and just got voicemail, but uh, we're going to be go getting back after this live shot because there is some concern he has about this building that it could be coming down. So again, rain coming down, thunder up above, very, very intense lightning, a really dangerous situation. If you don't have to go out and hear here in Covington, uh, Virginia, or in this general area. The best thing you can do is stay inside. We're going to be getting back inside our vehicle for our safety here in just a moment. Uh, but again, a dangerous situation. Turn around. Don't drown. People are driving through these roadways probably a little bit too fast. Back into you guys. Justin, that seems like a pretty dire situation yeah. with that building. Have you seen any uh, authorities yeah. around? I, I would be surprised they haven't cordoned this area off. I don't think they even know about this yet. We pulled in here because of the flooding you see here on the roadway, and I looked over and I said, I wonder what all that mud is on the, the ground. Where is that mud coming out of this building? And I looked behind it, and that's when we saw the, the land or mud slide behind the building. I noticed the cracking, and at that exact moment, uh, the man who leases this building did drive up. So again, I want to get a, an interview with him. We'll, we'll do that for you live here in a couple minutes. We have to switch a little bit of equipment around, but still, uh, a pretty dangerous dangerous situation and I will tell you we are clear of that building it may not look like it from our camera view because we're zoomed in but if that building were to come down we're not in front of it we're safe uh, but again a, a serious situation here with the structure and integrity of this building we're going to be watching closely uh, we'll also give a call obviously to local law enforcement because this is clearly a problem and could certainly cause an even larger problem if that building comes down and ends up in that roadway so we're staying on top of the situation here in Covington yeah Justin it does look like that that crack has actually gotten bigger or the the top part is pushing out more uh, since we you even joined us yeah. um, all right we're gonna stay with this but yeah have you heard anything have you heard any any cracking or no, no, I haven't heard any cracking, uh, and I haven't seen any shift in the building. Uh, I think you're right, though. I do think that that large crack underneath that little smokestack there, yeah. that little vent, might be a little bit larger than it was um, than when we first got yeah. here. But again, I mean, you can see, uh, Matt, show, show around here, no police officers yet, no fire crews, nobody is here except for us right now. So, uh, again, I am going to actually be calling the, the local law enforcement to let them know about this uh, because it's certainly uh, probably is a very dangerous situation yeah. uh, and uh, we just happen to be right in the middle of it so uh, we're gonna stay safe out here again probably the biggest threat to us right now though is the thunder and lightning it is quite dangerous and quite intense when it comes through and again we're talking about sheets of rain it's slowed down a little bit right now uh, but uh, but still a very serious situation here in Covington all right, right. Justin yeah get back in the car uh, wait yeah. this storm out and we'll check back in with you on that uh, yeah certainly pretty... be safe but that looks like a very very dangerous situation yes. there in West Virginia we keep you updated on this Flash flood warnings in effect. We'll have more on.